Hi, so we're working on the, um, the accessories insert for the project bag. It's called that project bag. There's a pattern to download and purchase from gourmetquarter.com. So we're just working through in little bits and pieces just to show you the different techniques. So this time I'm going to do some binding on the mesh pockets just along the top edge so we can attach it to a zip and also on these clear pocket ones as well. So there's actually six pockets in total. So we need to attach this sort of binding to the top of all six pocket pieces and the pattern tells you about what size to cut the pocket pieces. So the strips that we had to cut for this purpose, there was 12 of them and they need to be pressed in half and then those raw edges into the middle, I've already done them, and then folded in half again so that you've got that nice binding with the raw edges right in the middle. But two of them we just want pressed out flat and set aside to use at a later time. We don't need those just now. But the other 10 you'll need for the pockets. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to sew one onto the mesh. Really quite straightforward, but just so that you can see it being done, I thought that might be helpful. So I want to put the edge of the mesh right up into that fold. You may want to pop a couple of clips just to hold that in place. And then we're just going to sew along close to that folded edge so that it's got a nice edge ready for us to attach a zip to it because uh, it's not easy to sew mesh straight onto a zipper. So I'm going to get both of these ready. We're going to do one on the, to the mesh and then we're going to do one onto the clear plastic as well. The clear plastic is, is sometimes a little bit trickier to stitch with and uh, we'll talk about that when I'm stitching on it. So same thing, put the edge of that plastic right inside the fold there so that when we stitch the idea of a binding like this is that we just stitch it once, but it's caught front and back, so it's all done in one go. Very useful little thing to do on various bits and pieces in life. So I'll stitch on the mesh one first. So I'm just going to stitch fairly close to this uh, folded edge that's down on, on the mesh. And I'll just quickly fix my foot, the wrong foot on. Just want a regular, maybe a quarter inch foot is pretty good. And we're just going to stitch along that fold, close to that fold there. And it should take in the back at the same time, so it's a nice bound edge. We're just going to do one line of stitching. There will be more appearing because when we attach it to the zipper, we'll be doing some more stitching lines then. Just make sure that mesh, it's a little bit floppy the mesh, so just make sure it stays inside nicely. And then I'll bring the clear plastic over so we can do the same with that. So that wasn't too powerful. Now the clear plastic. Just the same thing, but now just sometimes when you're sewing with this clear plastic, it wants to grab on everything. You can see it's a little bit grabby. If it's grabbing and it's not feeding through for you, you may want to put a piece of paper behind, um, either regular typing paper or some of the papery tissue paper that's used for packaging and things. That works really well, and then you can just tear that away afterwards. I'm just going to give this a go as we are and hope that it's going to go through. For some reason, the soft plastic just grabs. So I'm just, I'm actually just keeping it lifted up just a touch, and I'm not having any trouble. But sometimes it does cause trouble. In which case, I would put a piece of paper or tissue behind. to do that to the top of all the pockets and four of the six pockets will have it on the on the lower edge as well because we need to have a binding on the lower edge of those two pockets and these couple of pockets here as well so the pattern goes into that but I just wanted to show you how we've gone about doing it so that's how to bind the edges of those pockets ready for the zippers and things